How's everybody? Good. <laughs> good. 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 Pearl, you got a friends board meeting tomorrow night. You ready? Yeah, I guess so. You gonna be there? I'll be there. Good. Yeah. Um, I know a couple people who can't be there, but oh, really? Uh, yeah, but we should have enough to carry on. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys do those on Zoom? Uh, we haven't for a while, uh, which is a good thing because if I'm in charge of that, <laughs> all chaos ensues. Um, but David is very good on Zoom. Yeah, I can as we, run that for you. So. Okay, that's good. Because that, yeah. that, the roads should be a little scary. Yeah, when is it supposed to start snowing for Friday? I don't know. It's just this like deep freeze thing that I think gets everyone concerned that things yeah. thaw and then freeze yeah. and then yeah icy roads uh we'll get to see the new carpet at at uh the century room at uh gordon avenue pro okay yeah it's worth the trip <laughs> fresh since last week very good just so you know the second the second susan huffman is alita she's using one of the staff computers here to oh, do it okay. so the second susan huffman is really alita second susan huffman is alita <laughs> <laughs> um how many people are we expecting david are we i think this is who Our we quorum. yeah i think we've got um we're not getting here. meredith no meredith pickens is out today okay she was part of the group that the small group that worked on the the wordsmithing here though so um she's up to speed so i think we can get started I'm going to call the meeting to order. And I think, David, you were just hoping that we could go over the document and see if we could make some decisions as a group. Yeah, uh, I think that Latasha has brought up a couple points about uh, what's a goal versus an objective versus a strategy. So we just want to make sure we're consistent about that. And I think she identified at least one area that we want to make sure we're all on the same page about what we're talking for, about. Um, so hopefully everybody got a chance to look there. This was, it's, it's, uh, it was harder than it sounds, right? We've had all this great information and, and trying to get rid of stuff is not in my nature. You know, we're librarians. We like to collect stuff, but, um, it, uh, thank you to the working group. So it was, who was on that? Haley and Meredith and somebody else I'm, I'm missing. We had four people working on that. Um, at any rate, um, both oh, both Meredith's. Meredith's. Meredith, Meredith, yeah, that was right. So two birds with one stone. At any rate, um, so our goal today is to come up with a final draft there. I invited Jennifer McAdam Miller, who uh, is joining us today. She's, uh, you all know her as JMRL's PR specialist. Jennifer has, as of uh, about an hour ago, um, found us a graphic designer. Uh, she's been working hard on this project for a while, and um, I think that uh, Jennifer has some good ideas about what format this might end up looking like just in general, broad strokes, uh, and it has to do with having less text, some of it, <laughs> but we could talk about that when we get to it. I know Meredith Cole, thumbs up for that. So Jennifer, do you want to say something about who we're going to work with here? You're muted right now. Uh, so Bill Lesur, um was the former art director for Seville Weekly for like almost 20 years. Um, and um, he's now doing freelance graphic design work. He's also the operations manager of McGuffey. Um, but uh, he's kind of a guy who knows everybody. <laughs> So if we needed to call in somebody who knows how to do something he doesn't know how to do, he's really resourceful, but he's also just very versatile and very fast. Um, and Great. nice, guy. yeah, nice community oriented guy. He also does work for Java. So it's Perfect. kind of a wheelhouse. Um, and if you don't mind, Jennifer, I'm going to share kind of, this is just a mock-up. It's not it was just kind of Jennifer's thoughts about this, but there was something that I, I liked it. I put this into your um, into your folder. Where's the share screen? Oh, here it is. Uh, so you can look at it in more depth later. Um, 
But basically for the first page there, Jennifer kind of combined what we had for first and second page and had JMRL's um, values at the top. So serve our community, provide free, equitable, open access to info, lifelong learning, cultivating a welcoming environment. And then each of the goals that the strategic plan committee has identified. So if you compare this to um, the draft text, did that work? What are you looking at now? We're looking at the draft text now. Okay, yeah. So yeah. if you compare it to, to this, it would be basically taking the bottom part of page one and then adding the bullet points from page two column. So this is just in general how we might organize it. So it's all streamlined in, in, a, in a way there. And then the text, which was the intro text, is kind of, you know, just a placeholder for the other side. I think my gut instinct says our goal here today I'm sorry, Latasha, our objective here today is to um, clean up this first page and then we'll work with the graphic designer on the backside. This might be too much text for that. And I think that we would probably all agree that this like intro material is not as important. It's, it's important, but it's not the actual work of the committee. This is more um, as Meredith Cole kind of told it as like a, a chance to sell ourselves here to kind of talk about where we are now, the current landscape and things that have been accomplished. So I just wanted to share that before we got into it. Uh, we haven't even talked to this designer yet, but I like this general concept of getting everything on that page there. Any thoughts about that before we start wordsmithing? Looks okay. Dynamic crew this afternoon. <laughs> it has well, been... I'll just thing. say that the graphic designer can make it look a lot more attractive. <laughs> it's just, just an, an idea. Well, I think Jennifer it did help me to focus the way I'm thinking about what what it could look like, and that makes sense to me because I was starting to worry that it was going to be like our doc looks, you know, just front and back two pages, which is not not our not our goal, our objective, our strategy. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate that, like, stylistically, it looks like some of the stuff we've been handing out, like, I, I can just the font and the color, like, the new handouts on the Louisa and Nelson bookmobile service, like, it's sort of that same vibe, and I like the yeah. consistency. I agree. Jennifer also shared with me something that she had done last year for that, um, that was that partnership, that col that Chinese language collection, is that right? Uh mm -hmm. And I don't have a link to that, but maybe I'll show that before we go. And it kind of looks a bit like that too. Okay, well then let's, um, within the next 45 minutes or so, go through what's there, address any questions we have. And if we're all happy at, at the end of this, then Jennifer and I will start working with uh, this graphic designer on translating this into a draft that we can take to the full library board. At this point, depending on the speed at which he works, you know, we will get something back We'll share it out with all of you all, decide whether we need to meet and discuss it or whether we're happy with it, and then take it to the board. Um, February might be a bit close for that, but uh, I would think March is a very reasonable deadline for the full board to look at it, because I know they'll have some thoughts. And they're also going to want to see, I can already hear, they're going to want to see some progress on the staff and parallel document, which is going to have strategies and objectives, like how are we going to do these things? So here's what the board wants us to accomplish, you know, based on the work of this committee and the feedback we've collected for the last year. And then we need a separate thing that says, here's, here, you know, David is going to do this, Susan's going to do this, Chris is going to do this, those types of things. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. So let's look at the... Um, text we have here and we'll address the comments that came up basically. So this first part is the the bit that, that might change the most between now and when you see it next, because uh, this is kind of intro material and we'll brainstorm a bit with the designer. If it's better to graphically represent some of this, then we might do that. And you know we'll, we'll all have a chance to review it before anything is finalized. But a couple suggestions here. Um, I think what's in dark green here might have been Alita's uh, edits, all of which I like. So uh, JMRL serves the 250,000 plus residents of Charlottesville, Albemarle Green, Louisa, and Nelson, Central Virginia. Kayla had suggested including a digital library. 
So made up of eight branches, a bookmobile, and 24-hour digital, what do we call them? Digital library services? I think so. Okay, um, so that includes the concept. If we need to wordsmith here, we ha we can. So JMRL annually circulates more than 1.6 million items, including over 400,000 checkouts of digital materials. That's fine with me. Any, any objections to kind of highlighting that? I think it's important people will wanna know that. You know, we get a lot of questions about digital resources versus physical resources. So I think it's good to get that up front, okay? 750,000 visitors a year. Uh, providing internet access to 100,000 individuals, putting on thousands of programs annually. Provides daily delivery, most days, <laughs> some days, uh, of materials to all branches throughout a service area that is roughly the size of the state of Delaware. I forgot to tell you, I have terrible, terrible, terrible news. Jerry fact check this on us. This has been uh, JMRL lore for a long time. It turns out that JMRL provide a JMRL service area is the size of the land mass of the state of Delaware, uh, but not the entire uh, square mileage of the state of Delaware with lakes and rivers and things like that. Hmm. I'm heartbroken by this. <laughs> also, I've been lying about this for six years <laughs> unknowingly. Can we uh, back up back up one sentence? Where yeah. it says putting on thousands of programs annually. What if we said conducting thousands of programs annual rather than putting on? That's great. On. Yeah. That's much better. Thank you, Susan. I did notice that note. It does seem like we're repeating some information in that second paragraph. So if we can't say that with the size of Delaware, maybe we could lose it. I mean... Yeah, that was Alita's point too. She says this yeah. is redundant. We already said this whole thing. You know, do we yeah. need a paragraph? Yeah, cut I out those words. <laughs> we were looking for um we were looking for kind of filler information. I hate but, it often um, what happened. I'm most interested. <laughs> yeah. Hi Megan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it, it, how do I need to mute it when I'm not talking? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hi, Lita. <laughs> She's like, she just muted herself. <laughs> yeah. So are we saying, I think we'd be okay with maybe cutting that and then we'll, Jennifer and I will work with the graphic designer to see how we want, what we want that other page to look like. And then if we need to add more information there, we can go back to find more demographic information. We can get much more granular about this uh, depending on what we think is important. So everybody okay with kind of cutting this sentence as is? Or two yeah, sentences. There, there was also some um, contradiction, and it was saying two hundred thirty thousand, and the first paragraph was saying two hundred fifty thousand. That I'm guessing two hundred fifty thousand is our most recent. Well, after and I'm so shaken by the Delaware thing, I'll go <laughs> check, make sure. <laughs> I thought I expected better of a bunch of librarians. <laughs> well, to, I know Tony's only only half on the call, but Tony, you can verify that we've been saying that for a long time, right? It's not a me thing. I I seem to remember this coming up in the Clinton administration. Yes, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and, and, and personally, I was not aware that Delaware had lakes and, and rivers. So that's a you know, my eyes have been open today. I'm good. I don't know if it's coastline or the bay of the bay itself or or, or what, but um oh boy. we're gonna put our mm. best people on this. So <laughs> I think there's more uh focus on Delaware since our president is from the state. So yeah, perhaps I think it it'd be better, better not than, step in it. <laughs> we're still bigger than Rhode Island, but like everybody knows Rhode Island. Everybody's is bigger than Rhode Island. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows Rhode Island's the smallest state. So it was not that impressive to say we're bigger than the smallest state. Um we could just say bigger than certain states in the union, but <laughs> Okay, uh, 19 through 24 is correct. So this was a tweak from Alita too to get the, the sound of this too. So I like it. The 2019 through 24 strategic plan led to many exciting library initiatives, including drive up service, remote return locations, expanded bookmobile service, and holds pickup lockers. Uh, 
And then we go to the mission. So there's a note here from Latasha. Should we clarify this is a new or additional drive up service given that it did exist prior to this strategic plan? Maybe expanding drive up services. Oh, it says expand it, expanded twice. Maybe that's not the right word. Additional. Yeah. We already use locations, but okay. Oh, and, and actually the ninth the 20, 2019 to 2024 was not mine. I had it wrong and someone else corrected me. <laughs> Just take the credit, take the credit and move on. Uh okay. So now we get into so the, all that's kind of the preamble, which is still there's still room to uh <laughs> There's still room to work on that. Now we get into the very hard fought over where each word here had to earn its place. Um, so this is the real work of the committee today is to agree or disagree on, on things here. So we serve our community. And if we recall, we took the, um, the one page draft that had all of this information that came from each subcommittee and from our um, from our uh, community outreach, and we we got that small, and then the the working group shoved those each into two sentences each, basically. So for we serve our community, JMRL will work with our community to serve all and provide library services and meet people where they are. JMRL will hire, hire, train, and retain an exceptional staff to foster a customer focused environment. So David, am I? understanding this is really it's these aren't a single goal it's more that there's this one is like two goals that have been put under one heading correct okay so then i i wonder then with what jennifer's put together just yeah. singularly singularly calling them a goal is not really accurate then because they don't they don't read as an individual like one goal put together yeah, so I think if we just made that goals, mm -hmm. plural, yeah, that problem. Yeah, because I was looking at this wondering if the statements were too large, but the fact that it is a combination of some of the previous goals into one makes more sense to me now. Okay, so even if that was maybe visually delineated here, so rather than appearing as a as a paragraph, it appeared as two separate sentences. That would probably make it even more clear but I don't know what that'll do for the format. Well, we were, this is not the actual format. I think, I think it will just help to It'll guide play, okay. the graphic designer a bit. But I think being clear that this is not, you know, that this is not intended to be one goal. These are the two goals under the value of we serve our community. Okay. That makes sense. Susan likes serve. Now that I look at it, we got a lot of serves up in here in general. I don't want to relitigate all of this. So, um, Susan, you just think everyone sounds better than all? I do. I just think it flows better than serve all, to serve all. Just sounds awkward. And I, your second sentence, JMRL will hire, train, and retain an exceptional staff. Well, that's what you want to do. That doesn't necessarily mean what will happen. What if you said, we'll attempt to hire, train, and retain? That was part of what confused me because yeah, even though it's it's very identical to what we used in the previous um, strategic plan, it it reads more like it's a strategy. Do you wanna go through those definitions that you sent me earlier, Latasha? Yeah, um, so I'll start with saying that the the order that plans put strategy objective our goal strategy objective or goal ob objective strategy just depends on the organization. Um, and I had to kind of figure out like what questions should these statements be answering? Um, and one thing with the goal is that it's supposed to be, you know, a broad primary outcome. So that's kind of why Susan was mentioning, you know, rewording that the way that she did. But um, if we're talking about something that's supposed to be an objective, it should answer a question like, what will show us 
it has been achieved, that the goal has been achieved because objectives should be measurable. So we can't call something an objective technically in the sense of a strategic plan if there's not a measurable outcome to it. Um, whereas a strategy can be very um, overarching or it can be very uh, specific to the objective depending on how you put it in there. But a strategy should answer the question, how will we reach our goal? So basically, um, how is the staff going to do something to reach that goal? And this is where what and how get tricky, but the strategy, so the example I gave was if the goal is ensure free access to informa information, the objective would be increase awareness of library resources by 10%. The strategy could be create lo contact local schools and schedule in-person visits, attend more community events with a JMRL information booth. So those, I was trying to give myself and everyone else kind of a better example of what to think of when we're reading these statements to know that we're we're answering the right question when we're putting putting this together and that our our goals are what we think they should be, that they're in the right spot where they're worded correctly. So I think what that largely means is that this second page, what we had termed objectives, we should reterm as strategies. I think so. But that, and Susan, I'm not forgetting your question about the overall goal. I'm just, I'm just trying to help all of us have the same definitions of goal, strategy, and and uh, objective there. So, JMRL will hire, train, and retain an exceptional staff to foster a customer-focused environment. I prefer that to will attempt to hire. Um, because this is our goal to hire them. We're not, our goal is not to try to do it. Our goal is to, to do it, right? That doesn't mean that we will succeed in our goal there necessarily, but we will use the strategies here, you know, revise and review and revise JMRL's approach to its compensation plan, including addressing discrepancies foster, promote, and, and develop employees focusing on engagement. Like we will use those in order to ensure that we can hire, train, and retain an exceptional staff. Does that Did make- you say we'll continue to hire, train, and retain? I mean, we're pretty proud of our staff right now. It's not like we're getting new ones or, <laughs> I don't know. Or is that not enough of a new goal? It doesn't necessarily have to be a new goal just because these documents are living and evolve. And like we said, you know, and the others, not everything got finished. So it, it doesn't hurt to continue it on in the same format, I guess, in that sense, it is consistent. Is continue any better though, Susan? Um, I think that would be better. I do too, because I feel like it sounds like we haven't been doing this and like we have been doing this. Well, that's what I feel like attempt would really do. If we say we're going to attempt to hire, train, and retain, it makes it sound I like, like we, continue. We, we haven't been trying. So in that sense of saying JM, JM, JMRL, I swear I can talk that's today. us. Yep. Um, <laughs> we'll continue to hire instead of saying to foster. Um, I wonder, continue to hire, train, exceptional staff, that foster, because it's you're putting kind of two actions in here and you're almost creating two goals within one. Yeah, we ran into a lot of that, the working group and our, and our yeah. goal was to try to have two sentences. But, well, you, I did think it was funny, David, when you said that we took two concepts from those lists, because I think yeah. what we were actually trying to take is all of the concepts and yeah. make them into two sentences. And that's why they came out to be a little bit of. So I, I would just, I kind of like it as is, because then it seems like if you do to continue, then you're going to have to backtrack and say, JMRL will continue to work with our community. And I mean, mm -hmm. it's like, <laughs> you know, we, we'll have to Good go point. back and and kind of throw that into all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, I think it's just, um, you know, we will will hire, train, and retain exceptional staff, you know? I mean, to, to Meredith's point there, I think the two ideas that we were trying to 
to distill and to get at here is we're going to get the best staff we can, train them, take care of them. And then we also want to offer a customer focused environment. So it was like tying those two things together, which may be different ideas. I don't want to get so bogged down in it that we lose sight mm -hmm. of what the, you know, what the, what we think the board is asking for here. I think I I like it as it is too. Let's put a pin in that. What was the original Susan's original suggestion? Will um, attempt continue? Oh, well, well, attempt was I don't know. Okay. I think all of our goals are going to be attempted. I mean, you know, you found out last time that you know the pandemic comes and things get put on the back burner. We're going to do our best. We're going to attempt. And it shouldn't come all of these happen things. either. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that was my main issue with attempt. Maybe it's uh, the aim. Yeah, I think it's Jay, Jay okay. and aims to train and retain and et cetera, et cetera. I just like stating it as in, in sort of the positive, this is what we're going to do. And, um, you know, I'm thinking about like our quote unquote mission statement of school. We will do this. We will do this. We will do this. And, and you know. I think, I think Paul's right. Cause that is how we formulated every other sentence. We will do this and we will do this. So if we were going to change it, we would have to change all of them. And I think continue is kind of inherent in if we're retaining people and excellent staff, then we're continuing with the excellent staff that we already have. That's the point of retention. So I think that's in there already. I think that's okay. Sounds like we have a juvenile member of our committee who has thoughts. Yes, she's protesting. <laughs> Okay, we'll move on to we provide free, equitable, open access to information. JMR will facilitate discovery uh, of a wide range of... So originally, I think it was without and delivery. So let's read it without and then with. JMR will facilitate discovery of a wide range of materials in a variety of formats. The library will adopt new technologies to meet the changing needs of the community. And then I think I think the green tells me this is probably Alita. JMR will facilitate discovery and delivery of a wide range of materials in a variety of formats. Library will adopt new technologies to meet the changing needs of the community. I think that the delivery was part of the discovery, like we'll help you find it, we'll help you get it. But I could be convinced that it needed. And so Alita, your, was this yours? Your, yes. feeling is that, your feeling is that not only are we gonna help you find it, but we're going to get it to you. And we needed to make sure that that was clear. Yeah, that I, that's what I was thinking that, that uh, you know, um, make sure that you got it. <laughs> and I think we, we talked a lot in the working group about, you know, what discovery means to librarians and making sure that we weren't using jargony talk here. You know, uh, mm -hmm. like discoverability is a word that I use, which is, you know, not a real word really. <laughs> so um, if that helps to clarify it, then I could see keeping it. I like the discovery and delivery just myself. It's like we're going to, as, as Alita said, we're going to help you find it and we'll get it to you. So I think Meredith Dickens is probably the one like this has the most to do with her. And Kayla as well, because it's not just the, the materials, but also our other technologies. Kayla, what do you think? Discovery and delivery? Yeah, because I could see that as, you know, how we get the materials to you is changing. Like, you know, one of the the goals of that the new kiosk in Nelson in Nellysford, you know, it's like, you know, that, that that's how I can see it. like the, the delivery of how we're getting things to you is changing. Not okay. just coming into the building. Okay, I like that. We inspire lifelong learning. JMRL will offer a diverse range of high quality programs, resources, and services to promote learning at every stage of life, both at library locations and out in the community.
Sound good? I would, um, what would, what would change if we took out, out and just said, and in the community instead of, and out in the community? I mean, I hate to, just sounds Meredith, cool. Meredith Cole would be happy because it's one less word. <laughs> I did notice that we've got only one sentence on this one. So are some of these going to say goals and some of them are going to say goal? <laughs> <laughs> Just to make up a goal. <laughs> I mean, we could split this. No, I mean. No, I think it's fine. I think, it's fine. I, I think it, yeah. it's fine. And yeah, you can take out out. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Okay. And the final goal, which is also only one sentence. JMRL will work with stakeholders to provide modern, accessible, and safe spaces for staff and patrons. Okay, so those are pretty good. Those are the top level goals. This is what the board is saying needs to happen in the next five years. Um, and to Latasha's point, this is a this is a living document. So the, the the board, you know, could change, they could turn over and they could have different thoughts and we would come back and revisit them. And then the second page here, which would be in, in Jennifer's vision of it, which would kind of be the strategies, not objectives, lined up with those goals, would be what are the things that, that the library is going to do in order to achieve these goals? Okay. So really, we've got values, then goals, then strategies. So that really helps me, Latasha. Thank you for that clarification. Because most of these are not as measurable as our last strategic plan. They were they were very measurable in the last strategic plan. We're going to do this at this time. This is the guidance we've gotten from the state library. They should be broader statements of vision almost from the board. But we do need to be held accountable for, for how we're going to achieve these things. So that parallel document becomes just as important as this. Uh, it's not going to be as public facing, but it will say what's going to happen here. So I think one of the steps maybe today is we can identify folks to help me start work on the, okay, well, what's the, if the strategy here is to network with community organizations and the group they serve in order to complement their service to our users, identify underserved populations within this framework and work to bring library services to them. But what are we going to do? You know, that needs to be articulated. Of course, Latasha points out that this is a, a lot of words that she's not quite sure. I'm trying to work through to understand exactly what is meant here and I'm struggling. Are we hoping to provide information on services, support the services of these organizations, ensure our own services, work in tandem with theirs to, to serve our users or what? So I think the thinking as we were distilling the public comment that we got and the work of the subcommittees and our own staff survey was the desire to work with community organizations um, and not reinvent the wheel on yeah. things, to support other organizations that are doing things that are in service to yeah. our mission as well, uh, and work in synergy with them in order to, to, to meet overall mission and values. Are you networking with them or partnering with them? What was the second part, networking or? Partnering, partnering. with them. Both? I mean, but we say network. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good good question. Because we have to make them fill out the partnership form in order to network with them. <laughs> I think part of this too was the desire to reach, you know, that second portion, identify underserved populations within this framework and work to bring library services to them. So it was kind of like work with existing organizations in order to figure out what we need to do and where we need to be in order to bring library services to the people that need them that aren't getting them. So I think it's pretty, I think the second sentence is pretty clear. And the first sentence is meant to be in service of that, like working with. So for example, you know, if if we've identified that uh, a growing Spanish-speaking population is not using library services, 
and we want to figure out how to bring those services to them or what formats we would need to have or how to present them. The first part of this is intended to say, we don't need to start over here. We need to work with people that are already working in this community. What if you took the second sentence, made that the first sentence and put it at the end of a put by networking with the community organizations and make it just one sentence? Um, they're working on this one no, no. behind me. All right, I can, <laughs> and I can hear you. a new speaker very loudly. I apologize, but um, Susan, I, I think that might be genius. I bet I guess my confusion with that, with moving it to the beginning, is what's this framework now? Right, we would have to move it. Um, I would take the framework off so that you didn't have to work on the framework because maybe there's a framework already in place. And I would yeah. just say, identify underserved population and, and work to bring library service to them by networking with community organizations and the groups they serve. Make that all one sentence. I think that makes it a lot more clear. I agree. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, identify mm -hmm. underserved populations and work to bring library services to them by networking with by networking with community organizations and the groups they serve in order to complement. Well, still, this last part is a little wonky, though. In I order to complement their you service. That off. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you need it. Who say serve, period? Yeah, sir. Yeah. After serve, just a period. Are we, so uh, Meredith and Haley, what, I want to make sure we're not leaving out a concept that we tried to shoehorn in here because we didn't have another place for it. There was a lot of that. It was like, we identified this, we talked about it, the subcommittees talked about it, the public talked about it. So that that's the only hesitation I have. Is, was there something there that we wouldn't be hitting? But I don't think so. I think this, in order to complement, is, is already part of identify and network with. These were the, these were the lists that were created by the, the groups. Yeah, yes. we didn't work on this language. We didn't work on this. I think Meredith Dickens might have worked on it. Oh, where's Meredith? But I agree, David. I think identify and networking hits on the fact that you're not trying to duplicate services, but more partner with. Mm -hmm. I agree. Less words, a whole sentence less, Meredith. Phew. Keep going. Okay, good work. Uh, review the need for expanded and updated facilities, including mobile services and library kiosks. So these are strategies in order to work with our community to serve everyone and provide. So maybe we can put this up front here just so we keep it in mind. Does this strategy make sense in, in the context of that goal? I think we're good. Thoughts? Moving on? Foster promote... Go ahead. No, as I say, no, I think it works. Foster, promote, and develop employees focusing on engagement and retention. And the note here was um, by focusing on or um, yeah, I like, I think just by focusing. By focusing. Yeah, Alita, you like that? Review and revise JMRL's approach to its compensation plan, including addressing discrepancies identified in the 2023 city salary survey. That language might change there because the city's constantly working on stuff. So in general, I don't I don't like having the date there. So maybe like most recent or something, but it's fine. That is what it is right now. Um, I just, uh, I'm afraid that in five years, we might still have issues that we're working on there and it might be tied to something five years old. Mm -hmm. So you you're saying just build the most, something. most recent? You may need to build something into your contract with your graphic designer and then there's an update. <laughs> <laughs> Updates are allowed. <laughs> um, so Alita, you're suggesting the most recent. 
Yeah, you know, just uh, the most recent um, salary survey or something. Do we need to wait city or? Probably not because we might do our own in two years that would then be. Yeah. That might need some work though, because if you're a member of the public looking at this right now, I mean, maybe we, we leave out where it was identified and just something like including, addressing, identified discrepancies. No, because you need to, maybe discrepancies is not the right word either. <laughs> <laughs> I think mentioning the salary survey at all though points to the fact that you have like a hard Vita, yeah. resource that you're using to base this on. Yeah. Um, to me, a discrepancy means like something was overlooked. I mean, it's almost, it's not inequalities, I think is too strong a word, but it's something closer to issues, maybe. Like, uh, shortcoming shortfalls help me out here brains that's still discrepancy <laughs> <laughs> is it is discrepancies okay i'll leave it no i mean as a shortfall is, a, is still a discrepancy yeah. um so we're trying to we're trying to what i'm trying to say here is the places where we are behind identified peers there i'm trying to do that in one word you wouldn't Disparity. say something like you know, misaligned or something like that. There's some misalignment. Alignments. Yeah, or disparities. Good. Yeah, disparities. Disparities sounds good. Yeah, I like that better. I think that's what we're trying to get with discrepancies. Mm -hmm. It's just a devil's advocate. Or yeah. inequities, sorry. And somebody that's looking at it from the outside in. Yeah. Where, where is your customer service focus at in this in yeah. these four. I think it's that strategy is in support of JMRL will hire, train, and retain an exceptional staff to foster a customer service environment, a customer focused environment. You know, like that's the way it should flow. Like the reason that we need to look at our comp plan is in order to be able to hire, train, and retain. But that doesn't, that's not readily apparent to you, Susan? No. Well, that's why I wondered instead of saying to foster, if the word that was better in, in the place of, so that it didn't sound like it was kind of two goals, two different things you're trying to achieve. Yeah, I don't, uh, that might be I true. Don't I, don't know, any better. <laughs> I don't know that that solves Susan, the yeah. Susan's issue there. And I am sensitive to that. We don't want to put out a document to the public that talks about the things that we're going to do for ourselves. Maybe maybe something that talks about um, internal training that's going to improve customer the customer's experience at the library. I don't I don't know anyway. Something like implement programs and training with a focus on um yeah, something about, yeah, focusing on serving customers or something like that. I, I agree. I think it needs to be something like implementing a training plan or a program for the strategy that, that focuses on that for staff, basically. Maybe after to develop, you could put something there in that line, foster, promote, and develop, I don't, any, develop training or something but I think you're talking about customer focus being customer focused, but you're not saying it in anything underneath. An engagement, retention. And, and providing customer focus training, maybe. After reten retention and maybe, and providing customer focus training. Uh, that may be awkward, but. Foster, promote, and develop employees by focusing on engagement, retention, and providing customer focus training. No, it's it's yeah. oriented. Develop employees by focusing.
it's it's not really there, but at least you're closer to what your goal, your your strategy, your goal is than what you were before. It's not smooth, but I mean the 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 goal is pretty clear that we want to hire, train, and retain an exceptional staff to foster a customer service environment. So so how are we going to get there? We're going to foster, promote, and develop employees by focusing on engagement, retention, and Maybe providing training that includes. Oof, we're just adding a lot of words now. Okay, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm less concerned with this one and more concerned with one that if we hand it to the Nelson Board of Supervisors, they're going to say, well, your plan is to pay yourselves more. That's what I take away from this, which is mm -hmm. true. We, we are behind here. You know, we need to address this. Can you say something about cost of living or to, uh, you know, establish a, a, a cost of living or establish closer to a cost of living to the area that we represent? Because, you know, we're not even close to what currently the, the communities have been giving their, their. I think the problem is beyond that, though, it's we're not offering anything comparable to other library systems. So we if we're going, you know, we're trying to get a good candidate and trying to convince them to come to us, they could easily go to another library system that's actually offering a more competitive salary. So we need to align ourselves with other libraries as well. So then then you're really not aligning yourself with the salary survey. You're aligning yourself with other library systems. Well, that's what the, the salary, salary survey did. included other yeah, it looked comparative it jobs. That. Yeah. So then maybe you should say that in the salary survey, that the salary survey included. I think that's the issue right there is, okay, what did the salary survey provide you? What kind of information did it provide you with that tells you that we are behind? Is it cost of living? Is it other libraries? Is it the locality? You know, I think I think it's something along the lines of, you know, to be competitive in this marketplace, which which means it, it takes into into effect cost of living, it takes into effect, it takes into uh, consideration those things. But maybe this would be better by shortening it and just say review and revise JMRL's approach to his compensation plan. And then the the objectives that we come up with for staff are going to be, you know, seek comparative library information, restructure our, our bands and stages, those types of things. But this would be short and sweet. But Susan, using your using that that view, you know, the plan devil's advocate, is that any better? Yes, that's better. Okay. Then you don't have to explain to anyone where your compensation plan is coming up with, except later on. In the yeah. meat of your document. Okay. okay. But you know, um, I'm I'm thinking um, that okay, you 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 want you want to to uh, to give you you want to get paid more, but the reason you want to get paid more is so that we can we can hang on to our our uh, our staff our our great staff that uh, so um, I think we we have to say uh, say something like. In, the, in that last one, because basically all it's, it's talking about is is um, um, focusing on uh, no, it's um, a compensation plan. Well, the compensation, yeah, we want a great compensation plan so we can keep th this this wonderful staff that we have who are <laughs> focused on who who are customer focused. Yeah. Well, what if you put at the end of that? Um, review and uh, review and revise JMRL's approach to its compensation plan in order to retain our excellent that our excellent staff or something like that. I, I mean, think you I, start I, hitting into objectives at that point. Yeah. Okay. I, and I also think it flows down from the goal itself, which was to hire, train, and retain an exceptional staff. Like we've already started with here's what we need, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hire, train, and retain an exceptional staff. And this is a strategy for how we're going to get there is we're going to revise our approach to our comp plan. To me, that makes sense, especially when you think about it in this in this kind of coming down from the top. Well, here it's going to say, here's what we're trying to do. And the objective is going to flow down from that. Not convinced? That's yeah. not yeah. how it's going to be 
I think this is, I think the last one's better than it was okay. before. Mm-hmm. All right. Did we massacre this third one then? So foster, promote, and develop employees yes. by focusing on engagement, retention. I mean, it could just be and training. Yes, just put in training because then when you get to your objectives, you can put in the customer or okay. orientation. Yeah, I agree with that. So that's fine. Isn't um is that what development is though? So like when we say and develop employees, isn't that is that part of that? Is Not that- necessarily because development could be mentorship. Development could be partnering. Development isn't just training. Okay. I'm fine with that, even though we already did say train, you know, as part of the overall goal. We said foster too. Yeah. <laughs> I've been sitting on it, but <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to touch this one. I'll be nice. <laughs> it was, yeah. It almost seemed a repeat of that last line. Yeah. We but were I- so proud of this sentence. Foster, promote, and develop. Well, is it fostering also? Well, no, I don't guess so. Never mind. Forget it. Yeah, I just think, I think training, uh, yeah, I think that sentence basically just sounds way too similar to the goal in the first place. I'm beginning to think the same thing. Do we need a separate no. strategy here? And, and promote also makes it like, oh, so I'm getting a promotion? Getting a promotion, right. Yeah. I was just thinking the exact same thing, Kayla. I don't, I don't think you need that one. Oh, Meredith Cole, I you ready? What you could do would be to just say develop, <laughs> um, develop employees by or or not even employees but specifically hitting on the customer focus thing and talking about develop training programs to assist staff with you know serving the public and i'm just throwing out random things right yep. now but something about training i mean you could link it back to that customer focus part i think i think haley um was very interested in in our like the next 5 years working on retention you know, talking about retention and what do we need to do in order to to engage staff as as a part of that, right? But that also could be the staff oriented objections, uh, objections, <laughs> objectives. Yes. So, Latasha, what was your suggestion there? Just to say, oh. develop. Ah, uh, yeah. I think you said provide training. Well, you, it could be um, develop training strategies to yep. assist um, staff with customer service. Something I don't. I mean, that's yeah. that's I fundamentally a, different from what we were trying to distill here. Yeah, but that what did hit on. That's why I keep saying that to foster a customer focused environment. I think I'd rather cut that sentence and let the goal speak for itself there. I think it makes sense to cut it because you've already said it yeah okay feels a little light here but so we've got three strategies but this one's only got three too but each of those are like six things so (laughs) all right tony just texted me he had to leave um, so I understand we're we're uh, one quarter of the way through this, and and uh, people might have to peel off. Um, we can stay for a while and try to get through this, or we can reconvene. But let's see what we can do in five minutes. I have to be on the desk in five, so that works for me. Okay. Uh, provide free, equitable. This was my biggest concern. This whole this whole block here. So I think that we've done good work there. <laughs> So for we provide free, equitable, open access to information, that's our value. The goal is JMRL will facilitate discovery and delivery of a wide range of materials in a variety of formats. The library will adopt new technologies to meet the changing needs of the community. Here are our strategies. Provide our community with a high quality collection that reflects its diversity and that supports their freedom to read. Maintain regional standards for collection management of materials in a variety of formats. Promote awareness. Go ahead. Um, Provide our community with a high quality collection that reflects its diversity and that supports the community's freedom to read rather than their freedom to read. I just, sometimes I think the there can get a little lost as to what that might mean. Or maybe just provide a high quality instead of providing our community. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Too many so, communities in one Yeah, season. provide a high quality collection that reflects, well, actually it's was referring to 
Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I like it. <laughs> Reflects and supports the community's diversity and freedom to read. It's something like that. Yeah. Hmm. Right. I have a quality collection that reflects the reflects the supports the community's diversity communities, or its freedom to read or something diversity like that. and yeah. supports the community well i mean that then that supports the community supports the communities right 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 so, i don't know hold on wait a minute it provides a high quality collection that reflects and supports we got we missed the word diversity yeah, there right. that supports the community's diversity and it's freedom to read. Perfect. Got an extra do, you, hand. do you need the second sentence or could that be in an objective? Maintain regional standards for collection management of materials in a variety of formats. So the only thing I think is this variety of formats, but we are, that's already top level right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. I could I could be okay with making that a a more concrete staff level objective. Objections going once, going twice. Okay, here's where I used I realized I used discoverability. <laughs> Promote awareness and discoverability of library resources adapting to meet patrons' information seeking behavior. Keep digital resources current, accessible, and secure while ensuring room for growth. Perfect. <laughs> Is discoverability a word? <laughs> I've got a bridge the size of the state of Delaware to sell you. <laughs> it's not underlined in Google. That's what I was going to say. It looks like a real word. <laughs> it's a library word. <laughs> it's a library um, word. I propose that we um, adjourn and reconvene. I know it's hard to get this many people together, but um, I think about an hour is about enough wordsmithing for everybody. And I think we're about halfway through. What do people think? It's fine. Fine. Okay. Do you want to um, oh. set a time rather than to try to do that Zoom stuff? Can we just say next week at the same time and those that can make it can make it? Works for me. What's the date? The 24th. It is, thank you. Three o'clock? No. Two o'clock. No, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. And anyone who isn't able to make it but has comments, you could always add them to the document. And... Yeah, that's great. I'll send everybody a little, um, here's where we left off. Well, I'll just do it right here. All right, I'm on desk. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, I know that's a lot to ask, folks. So if you can't make it next week, that's okay. But um, if you can't make it, then then kind of go through the same process, um, keeping in mind uh, the excellent guidance that Latasha gave on the difference between goals, objectives, and strategies. My goal today was to not have you all yelling at me. So <laughs> you did an excellent oh, job. You, 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 <laughs> you did an excellent job. So Jennifer, that means that um, you can let our designer know that we got about halfway and that we should have something for him next week. Um, but if you want to start sharing this document and talking about, you know, share your kind of idea about, hey, like it would flow vertically like this. And then the back page would have some version of this introductory slash current state of affairs information and you know the more graphics the better there that'll give him maybe something to chew on before he gets the finished product um david did you want to share that uh window of shanghai document with everyone just oh um if i can find it okay i can share it yeah do you have it I'll stop sharing. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Um, oh, I got it. Hold on. 
You got it? Okay. Yep. I had it in my email still open. So, so go ahead. Ooh. Yeah, those first two pages of it um, are what I was thinking of, but <clears throat> this was to try to describe our library system to you know people in China who you know aren't familiar with it at all. But um, I think Meredith and I had worked on this together, and um, I think we came up with some good language for sort of that introductory part. I mean, there might be something to borrow from there, but and some of the points about like, <clears throat> and and this is a statement that I hear you say a lot, David, that you know the ideal of being a truly public library. Um, if you know we think about the audience um being the public and then sort of needing to know why why do we have a five year strategic <laughs> it's because we want to you know do that that i i don't know i just i i think that some of these ideas in the introduction here okay. <laughs> could maybe work so I think that that you and I can work, we can kind of work on identifying, you know, some of the language we already use, some of the things that are in there, uh, just kind of a, a, what would, what would we most want to show there and work with the designer? Okay. Yeah. Um, ways, maybe there are ways that we could. Yeah, more. actually that, that is maybe something we can bring to the next meeting. Yeah. So okay. That would be really productive. Okay. And the reason yeah, I added, is we're required by state law, but mm. yeah, we would do okay. that. For okay. Law. Well, but it's like, why does anyone want to read this? And there, it's because they're going to learn things about. That's right. Their library system. Kayla, you were going to say something. Oh, I just I added the PDF to the five year plan folder from the Shanghai project. Just so if people go oh, to that folder, you. you can Great. see it. So everybody can look at it. Yep. Okay. Um. So, uh, Meredith Cole, uh, the board meeting on Monday, the library board meeting. You can just report on an update. Here's where we are meeting again this week. Expect to have a draft ready for the designer. You know, within the next few weeks, basically, and okay. that'll let the library board know. You know, kind of a timeline. We think maybe March, April for something for them to review. Okay. Sounds good. Good work. It's crazy that we have spent a year just to try to shrink, 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 shrink. Um, but I, I think that we're headed in the right direction. Um, I would also maybe next week like to talk about uh, who would be available to help on the maybe the even bigger project of the staff uh, objectives that go along with this. So I'll add that as an agenda item for next week. Thank you all. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Carl, -bye. see you tomorrow.